Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And I, I'm here with another video and I'm gonna be recording my favorite high end and drugstore products. So like I have many high ends and a lot of drugstore products, but I'm gonna be showing you why I like them and like what's best about both products. So I'm gonna be starting from like foundation to like out. Okay, so we're gonna start with foundation and my favorite high-end foundation is NARS. What I like about it, it's that it's really lightweight and it's like matches, I guess. It goes with the skin. But what I don't like about it is that it sinks in the pores and into your fine lines and it's really pricey. And so my favorite drugstore product is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. And what I like about this product is that it's really lightweight, it's matte, and it's affordable. So after I do my foundation and my primer, I do my eyebrows. And my favorite high-end um, eyebrow pencil is the Brow Wiz by Anastasia. And the reason why I like this product is because it stays on really long. And one reason why I don't like this product is because it's like really hard and stiff and you have to kind of like press on it really hard for it to go on your skin. And I really like that. And for a drugstore product, I like the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer. You can't really see it, but yeah. And the reason why I like this product is because it's not as hard as the Anastasia, but it doesn't stay as long as the Anastasia Brow is. Okay, so after my eyebrows, I go in with the concealer. And my favorite high-end concealer is Naked Skin by Urban Decay. The Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. And one reason why I like this is because it lasts really long and really light. It doesn't go on all cakey or anything. And yeah. And for my concealer for a drugstore is the Maybelline Fit Me. The reason why I like this product is because it stays on long, the same as the Urban Decay one. And it basically gives the same result as uh, Naked by Urban Decay. After my eyebrows, I go in with the eyeshadow primer. And my favorite eyeshadow primer that is high-end is the, the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. And one reason why I like this product is because um, it makes your eyeshadow long-lasting. And it's one of my favorites. So for a drugstore, I, I chose the Milani Eyeshadow Primer. And this product, I don't really like it because I don't think it works. It doesn't work for me. And, um, but it's really lightweight. And that's what I like about it. So I have my high-end um, eyeshadow palettes. But I do not have my drugstore um, eyeshadow palette. But I'm still going to show you the high-end and my favorite high-end product is the Lorac eyeshadows and palettes. I chose these because um, they are really pigmented. And I'm going to open the Lorac unzipped gold one. That's how it looks like. 
And if I give just one swipe. Yeah, I really like these a lot. So I'm gonna show you the Lorac Mega Pro, the Pro Mega Mega Pro palette. And it's this red one. And it comes in all these beautiful colors. I love them. Like you could like have so many looks in this palette. And I'm gonna just swipe the black one. really pigmented I love this a lot it's just one of my favorites like I love all their palettes I have six of their palettes and they're beautiful I have two Lorac Pro palettes and I have two unzipped palettes the gold one and the normal one I have two Pro Mega Palettes, the first and the second. They're dirty right now, but yeah. And I love all of them. So next, after eyeshadow, um, I go in with my eyeliner. And the eyeliners I'm using is the Tattoo Liner by, by Kat Von D. This one I love so much. I love the brush. And it comes out so good like and it's really black it's not like shiny black it's a matte black and then for the drugstore i'm gonna show you the l'oreal volume is superstar and the reason it, it's new and i love it so much because it's exactly the same like the cat von d i think this is one of the best eyeliners in my opinion I love the brush. It's exactly the same like the Kat Von D. And they're both long lasting too. But one thing why I would um, consider you guys to get this one better than the Kat Von D is because it's more affordable and there's no difference. So after my eyeliner, I do my mascara. And the mascaras I'm gonna be using for the high end is a Lorac Cobra Mascara. And I don't really like this one because I don't like the brush for it. I don't, I don't really like the brush because it doesn't give a lot of um, product to your eyes. And for my drugstore mascaras, I'm gonna show you the L'Oreal Telescopic. And my Maybelline, the Rocket Volume Express. One reason why I like the Rocket by Maybelline because the brush, it gives so much product to your eyes and it like gives so much volume. This has more of a skinnier brush, you can't really see it, but it gives so much product as well. And they're really affordable. For contour and bronzer, I'm gonna show you guys the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette for my high end and for my drugstore, the e.l.f. bronzer palette. I'm gonna show you guys the Kat Von D first. And it comes with like six colors. And I like this palette because it's pigmented. It stays on, it lasts as long. And it's really blendable, I love it so much. So for the e.l.f. one, it's not as pigmented, but it gives really pretty colors and the price is way better than the Kat Von D. After my bronzer and my contour, I do my blush and for my high-end product, I'm going to use the Lorac. This product is really, it's so blendable and it's really matte. I love this one so much. Like I don't, like there's no reason for me to hate it. It's like really good and it's matte it's really pretty and for my drugstore product um i'm gonna show you guys a milani powder blush it's really pretty it's like a rose i like this product because all their blushes are are good quality and the price is way better so after my blush i do my highlight 
зайду. Ох, супер. For my high end, I used hourglass. Comes in three shades. I use the middle one I use. This one's the lightest. This has more of a pink undertone. And this is like has brown in it. It's really pretty and natural. I would use this uh, for every look. But one reason why I like it is because it's really pricey. For my drugstore, I have this hard candy glow all the way. Um, I really like this color too, but it's not as pigmented as I thought it would have been. It doesn't have a glow to it. For my lipsticks, my favorite part in makeup. I have the Jarred Cosmetics in the shade 1995. It's almost gone, like literally. This is my favorite. I have like it stays on longer. It's really pretty, but it's not as creamy. It you have to kind of like press on it for the product to go on your lips. But other than that, I really like it. For my drugstore product, I have this Maybelline. Hey, I have this May. Hey. I have this Maybelline lipstick, um, Crush Clay, it's matte. You can't see it, but it's really pretty. I would say this is one of my favorite lipsticks, matte lipsticks to use. It doesn't last as long, but it's really creamy. It goes on your skin really good. So for my brow gel, I have the brow gel by Milani Shaping Gel and the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow gel. From these two, I like the Anastasia one better because it lasts longer. It goes on really good. Now for the Milani one, I don't really like this one because it doesn't shape your eyebrows like it does but like it doesn't stay on for a long time but the Anastasia one stays on longer now for bronzer by itself I have the NYX matte bronzer and I have the Too Faced chocolate as you can see it's been used <laughs> these I would say they're both the same. There's no difference in them. The Too Faced is way better. But this one is more pricey than the NYX. So I'm kind of in between both because this one's pigmented and this one is less. But they're both beautiful products. So that's it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And next week, I'm going to be recording the Kylie Lip Kits because they finally came in. And I'm excited for this video. Stay tuned. Hope you guys like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.